is your channel just not growing? Are you putting out content? Are you doing everything like you're supposed to do, but you are not seeing the results on the other end? Or maybe you're watching somebody else who started after you on YouTube and they seem to be growing way, way, way quicker, even with the same audience and same ideal client. And you're like, why is my channel growing so freaking slow? Well, I'm here to tell you today why your channel is growing slow and what you can do to fix it. Hey, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Jessica Stansberry, a content marketing strategist whose entire mission in life is to help you create content that converts to sales so you can grow your business. And a big piece of my content strategy is YouTube. So today's video is gonna help you grow that YouTube channel so you create content that converts to sales and grow your business. But for me to grow my channel, I need you to hit subscribe. For me to reach all the people in the world that need my help, I need you to hit subscribe so that you never miss anything else with me and so that YouTube sees that I'm an awesome channel and shows me to more people. So there's that. I get it. I totally get it. Someone else came on the scene after you. Someone else who creates content similar to you and they're growing way quicker than you are. Maybe they're growing way quicker than anybody is that you've seen. Maybe you are just at a standstill and you've stalled and you don't know how to grow your channel and you don't understand why there's some people getting, you know, five, 10, 15, a thousand new subscribers a day and you're getting zero to one. I totally get it. I have been there, done that, got the t-shirt. I promise. And so that's what I want to run through today is four reasons that your channel is not growing and how you can head that off and stop it in its tracks so you grow just as quick as the other people. First things first is something I've talked about a lot here and basically every other content strategist and YouTube strategist in the entire world talks about and that is that you are not being consistent enough. You're posting videos but you sometimes forget for a week or two or three or four and you are putting up content on Monday some weeks and Tuesday the next week and Thursday the week after that and then you might skip a couple weeks and put up another video or you get really consistent for a really long time and then you just kind of drop off the face of the earth. All of those things are directly related to your inability to grow on the platform. You can't be inconsistent and grow on this platform. It is not something that is possible. YouTube favors, favors, favors like a lot consistency and putting things up at the same time every week and being consistent for your audience because when you're consistent for your audience, YouTube sees that more people are coming back to watch and they favor your channel. So if you've not been consistent up until now, you need to figure out a plan on how to be consistent with your content so that you are not missing that big opportunity to like be big here on this platform. The other reason that your channel is at a standstill or not growing is because you are not collaborating, yo. Stop, collaborate, and listen. Ice is back for a brand new edition. Anyway, collaborations are a huge, huge way to grow basically every business and every single social platform. That's why you'll see Instagrammers participating in giveaways together or, you know, doing like follow loops or whatever they do. Back in the day when I first started blogging in 2010, 2011, those follow trains were a big thing. Collaboration is huge. The really cool thing right now about collaboration is that so many more people are embracing the whole uh, community over competition mindset. So the real power when you collaborate is collaborating with people who are attracting the exact same audience as you. So if you are not collaborating with those people, then you really need to jump on that. And that could also be a really big reason why your channel is not growing. When you collaborate, you basically get handed an audience that you didn't have before. And that could be just the little spike you need for your channel to grow quicker. All right. The third reason that your channel is possibly not growing is that you are presenting fluff. I'm so sorry, but 
we are preached to and told that we need to put out videos on a consistent basis and that we need to be putting out content, you know, 14,000 times a week and doing this and doing that. And with that, people get inundated with not wanting to really give away good, valuable content all the time. So they do nothing but give away fluff. And I just don't think this is helping you. So if you're like, you know what, I'm going to talk about the different ways that I can grow my channel. And then the next day I'm going to talk about the ways that I can, you can get a thousand followers. And then the next day I'm going to talk about this. Then those are all kind of the same topic and people are going to pick up on that. Now, spreading them out is fine, all of that, but presenting fluff not really giving good actionable content and good actionable steps to things that you are presenting on your channel can be a huge, huge buzz killer for the viewer and a subscription killer for your channel. Now, the last reason that I'm going to talk about for the fact that your channel is not growing is one that can be kind of controversial. I mean, it's not like controversial, controversial, but it's like, am I an a-hole for saying this? but I'm just gonna go with it because it's true. So the fourth reason that your channel is not growing could very possibly be that your camera presence is just not where it needs to be. See, we're, we're told that camera presence and confidence on camera can be taught and it absolutely can. I believe in that 100%. And we're told to put things out before they're perfect. And I also believe in that 100%, which is why I'm putting out this friggin' video with all this like change in the light that I cannot help because the clouds are driving me bananas. But, but sometimes, and I'm not saying this is the per your personality, but sometimes the way we come across on camera is just not something that's compelling for people to watch. Maybe we're boring. Maybe we're too over the top. Maybe the viewer can tell we're nervous. Maybe we're monotone. Maybe we, I don't know. There are so many different ways that like our camera presence can come off like eh. And I've done it too. Like I've sat here and been like, hi, my name is Jessica and I would like to talk to you today about this thing and I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and be really cool and those things. But th one, that's not me. And two, that is not something that people want to watch, right? So sometimes your camera presence can throw people off. And I am not saying that you can't teach yourself to have a better camera presence and that you can't teach yourself to be more magnetic on camera because you totally can. But having kind of a bad camera presence can absolutely hurt your channel. All right, so let's run back through those four again real quick, real quick. You are not being consistent. You are not collaborating. You are presenting fluff and not good actionable pieces of things that people want to watch. And four, you could possibly not have the best camera presence right this second. So if you're doing any of those four things, they could possibly be hurting the growth of your channel and you can absolutely go fix all of them today and you can get better on camera. You can start presenting more actionable advice. You can be super consistent and you can collaborate with hashtag all the people. So make sure you go run and do that. Until next time, hit subscribe so that my channel grows <laughs> and I will see y'all later. Bye.